Hi everyone, welcome to a new video in GBCI Bootcamp course overview of green business certifications and programs. In this video, we will investigate the True Zero Waste program. True Zero Waste, Chapter 2, Lecture 7 True Zero Waste What about the waste that buildings are generating? We need a way that facilities can define, pursue, and achieve zero-waste goals, cutting their carbon footprint and supporting public health. GBCI administers the true zero-waste rating system that aims at changing how materials flow through society, resulting in no waste. Think about it. We need to fundamentally change the way we think about the entire life cycle of resources. How they are made, how they are used, and how they are disposed. The bottom line here is we need to, to reduce the amount of waste we generate. TRUE stands for Total Resource Use and Efficiency. The TRUE Zero Waste Rating System helps businesses and facilities define pursue and achieve their zero-waste goals through project certification and professional credentialing. The U.S. Zero Waste Business Council created the certification in 2013 as a first third-party zero-waste rating system for facilities that meets the zero-waste definition of the Zero Waste International Alliance. GBCI assumed responsibility for the ongoing management and evolution of the certification program on November 2016. According to the EPA, the average American generates 4.4 pounds of trash each day. True, it's a whole systems approach that helps organizations understand how materials flow through their facilities and identify redesign opportunities so that all products are reused. True certified projects meet a minimum of 90% waste diversion for 12 months of landfills, incinerators, waste to energy or the environment. True Zero Waste Certification it supports the definition of no waste to landfill, incineration, and the environment. Drives the development of new markets and new ideas towards the zero waste economy. It meets zero waste businesses' request for valid and comprehensive third party certification. It focuses on upstream policies and practices beyond diversion or recycling. Emphasizes a strong total participation training of employees, zero-waste relationships with vendors and customers. Benefits of businesses triple bottom line by saving them millions and showcases their responsibility and commitment to their local community and environment. Certification is available for any physical facility and their operations, including buildings owned by businesses, property managers, schools, government agencies, and non-profit organizations. Aspects of Rating System These credits are organized into 15 categories that reflect all aspects of a successful zero-waste program. We will start with Redesign. Redesign involves both redesigning waste streams outgoing materials and purchasing agreements in coming materials. Then we have reduce. Reduce is to observe existing practices and make positive changes to eliminate waste. Reuse. Reuse category calls for replacing single-use materials with durable goods and for finding suitable off-site donation opportunities for food or office materials. Compost, re-earth covers the strategies where composting can be done on-site, at the facility, or off-site by a service provider. Recycling This category ensures the exploration of the highest and best use of a material is explored prior to recycling. This means exploring the reduction, reuse, 
and upcycling opportunities to keep pins empty recycling only as a last resort. Zero Waste Reporting Zero Waste Reporting is the process of tracking and documenting data for diversion, including materials generation by commodity and by weight and financial data. Diversion Diversion is a process of keeping waste from landfill, incineration, waste to energy, and environment, air, water, and land emission. Zero Waste Purchasing the category encourages the adoption of environmentally preferred purchasing APP guidelines or policy. Leadership This category encourages upper management to affirm their commitment to zero waste and motivate action to accomplish it. Training The credits in the training category encourage management and HR to distribute zero waste information in office communication. Zero Waste Analysis This provides opportunities to physically inspect the trash, recycle, and compost bins to understand what materials continue to be wasted and identify further opportunities to eliminate waste. Upstream Management This category encourages the certifying facility to work productively with their upstream vendors and suppliers to advocate for the elimination of wasting practices that send resources downstream for disposal and the adoption of a zero waste goal. Hazardous Waste Prevention This category promotes appropriate disposal of and or reduction of harmful materials to reduce risk and damage the environment. Closed Loop System this category encourages the implementation of policies and practices to close the loop or bring materials back on site in another form. Innovation The final category is a true rating system aims to make further waste reductions by exploring opportunities not previously defined. Not every credit will apply to every project. But the array of credits provides multiple opportunities to achieve certification. Projects don't need to earn a credit in each category and there is no minimum number categories in which credits must be earned. A project must earn a minimum of 31 points from these credits to achieve certification. Here is an example of the credits you will find in the reduce category. Credit example. Reduce credit 1. Document materials reduced by commodity. The intent of this credit is to ensure reduction in materials are documented from an established baseline to quantify the benefits of ongoing reduction efforts. The requirements of the credit is to identify at least one material that is being reduced and collect the documentation of the material volumes from a determined baseline period that is representative of ongoing operations. Establish a methodology to appropriately calculate the reduction by weight or volume for each material. Calculate reduction and display results by commodity. For potential strategies, document material generation for a given baseline period, usually a one calendar or fiscal year period to the implementation of waste reduction activities for that material. Then. Calculate the current volume of the same material generated as a result of waste reduction activities. This exercise should be carried out for each material type targeted for reduction. Certification Overview Zero Waste Policy to be in place 90% overall diversion from landfill, incineration, waste to energy and environment. Meet all federal, state, and local solid waste and recycling regulations. Data documents a base year and measurements since the base year. Commit to submit 12 months of data to GBCI annually. Contamination is not to exceed 10% of each material stream once it leaves the company site. 
benefits of true zero waste certification. Save money. Waste is a sign of inefficiency. The reduction of waste reduces cost. Faster progress. A zero waste strategy improves upon production processes and environmental prevention strategies, which leads to taking larger, more innovative steps. Support sustainability. A zero waste strategy supports the three P's, people, planet, and profit. Synergies would lead. Are you pursuing zero waste for your facility? You can earn lead credits for making it happen. Or if you are already working on lead projects, you can explore ways to incorporate zero waste principles into the project and consider pursuing true zero waste certification as well as lead. If a building earns the true zero waste certification and the scope of the project is the same as a project pursuing LEED O plus M certification, TRUE can be used to document select LEED credits if the corresponding TRUE credit is earned. Synergies are one directional. Projects that are TRUE certified get a flat number of credits in LEED O plus M existing buildings. If a building has earned true zero waste facility certification and the scope of the project, that is project boundary, is the same as a project pursuing LEED O plus M certification, the true certification can be used to document several LEED credits in the version 4 operation and maintenance rating system if the corresponding true credit is earned. If the true credit mandatory zero waste policy credit is earned, then lead projects can earn materials and resources prerequisites, ongoing purchasing and waste policy, only the waste policy portion. For earning both true credit 1 diversion and credit 5 hazardous waste prevention, a lead project can earn materials and resources credit solid waste management ongoing. And an innovation credit for exemplary performance in LEED is earned if at least 95% diversion is achieved for true diversion credits 1 and 2. Project example. Location of the project is Fairmont, California, and the certification level is Gold. The percentage of overall diversion achieved is 97%. Facility size is 5.5 million square feet, type of operation is manufacturing, and it's for Tesla company. With a team of recycling technicians servicing the factory, compost bins in all office and cafe areas, as well as several sorting and separation areas at the plant, Tesla's Fremont factory consistently diverts over 99% of waste from ending up in the landfill and 97% diversion from landfill and waste to energy combined. Most of the materials are sorted, commoditized, and sold to third-party recyclers. This is true for all cardboard, plastics, foams, pallets, wood chips, and various types of metal. While the diversion numbers are something to be proud of, the zero waste efforts have also contributed significantly to Tesla's bottom line. In 2016, the reduction in waste hauling fees, the revenue generated from recycling as well as the costs avoided through the product reuse programs, totaled over $30 million. You can explore the rating system. The true zero waste rating system and certification guide are free to download. Download the scorecard and planning worksheet. Sign up to receive regular updates by email. Check out projects. Look for education opportunities on education at USGBC website. Locate true advisors, professionals who understand the requirements of the rating system. Help projects achieve true certification and are committed to advancing zero waste values and policies. Or you can become a true advisor a true zero waste trained professional. We came to the end of our video. 
In the next video, we will talk about peer program. See you in the next video.